Robotic systems have become so advanced that they can help us explore the universe. To ensure the success of future missions, we need to test and deploy them in really rough terrain. And if this means we have to go to an active volcano, then that's exactly what we have to do. And this is our part in Robex. The project uh, Robotic Exploration of Extreme Environment, short Robex, includes the research activities of 16 different German research institutions and was funded by the Helmholtz Association. It combines the activities of the deep sea uh, research field and space domain and emphasizes uh, the exploration of extreme environments which are hazard for humans and where robots could substitute or support human activities. Already during the Apollo missions between 1969 and 1972, human astronauts placed seismic instruments on the surface of the Moon. Providing valuable insights about the inner structure of the Moon, um, these experiments raised many new scientific questions. In the Robex project, we developed robotic technologies to support future space missions which aim to answer these questions. For that, um, we developed common building blocks in a joint effort of the space and the deep-sea communities. In order to test and validate um, these technologies, we searched for a place on Earth that is as similar as possible to the surface of the Moon. We found the perfect location on the Italian island of Sicily. On this island, the volcano Mount Etna provides a rough terrain environment that is visually close to the surface of the Moon. Equally important, it features natural seismic activity that allows to measure quakes at depths similar to the Moon. That's why we chose this particular location uh, for the space analog demonstration mission of the Robux project. In Sicily, in Catania, we set up a mission control center. The control center is responsible for starting the mission and monitoring the progress of the mission. So it also receives telemetry commands and data from the rover, it evaluates it and can decide on the further progress of the mission. Like in a real planetary exploration mission, the lander is the central part of the mission. So in Robex, we simulate that the lander just landed on the surface and deployed the rover. The lander contains seismic measurement units, which deliver the data of the crust layers to the control station. All commands that are received from the control station are distributed by the lander. So the rover doesn't get the commands directly, but only via the lander. For our planetary exploration tests, we built the LIU rover, which is short for Lightweight Rover Unit. It has a total weight of 42 kilograms and is equipped with several stereo cameras to map the environment of the rover. The LIU rover is fully autonomous, so there run more than 100 processes on it, developed by more than 20 developers, and it is all orchestrated by a central um, autonomous task control framework. The goal of our rover is to deploy the scientific measurement instruments which are attached to the lander at the beginning. Um, at first, the rover has to approach the lander. Once the rover reaches the lander, it needs some way of uh, fetching the remote unit from the lander. For this task, we have integrated the Jaco manipulator, a flexible robotic arm, in order to fulfill many different autonomous manipulation tasks. Once the rover detects the lander and the remote unit, it uses the arm to grasp the remote unit and thus uh, is able to establish a connection. After the lander then releases the remote unit, the rover uses the arm to place the remote unit 
which is the onto the back and is ready to transport the remote unit to the scientific relevant location. Next, the rover um, drives to a suitable deploy position where it wants to measure the seismic uh, signals. Driving on Etna was a big challenge for us and for the rover system. As you can see, the volcanic soil is dry and coarse. That means that the wheels start sinking while driving. One of the effects is slip. That means that the wheels are turning but the rover doesn't get any further. Another effect could be that the whole body starts vibrating. So in the worst case, we can get stuck or the whole system could break. That's why we implemented methods to detect the slip so that we can react on it and overcome the problems. After the successful deployment of the scientific measurement device, all the telemetry data is sent to the control station where our scientists receive the data and evaluate them. When they finish the evaluation of the data, the rover grasps the remote unit and secures it on its back again and drives to the next deploy location and to repeat the whole process again. To reach such ambition goals, you need experts of all different fields. To bring together all these experts, this can be a quite complicated task. Without such a great team, such a mission would never be.